Hey guys, it's Darkshot the Poisoner here, bringing you some more Let's Play Banjo Kazooie on the Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, we are in Gruntilda's Lair, and we are searching for the next area that we need to go to, so that we can uh, somehow get our hands on that jiggy that is inside of Gruntilda. Strangely enough. All right, so we got shock jump pad here. Jump on up. Beak bust this dude in the process. Just get owned, son. Oh, we could have opened this note door. Well, we have 400 notes. No big deal. Just completely destroyed that note door with our excessive amounts of collectioning. Oh, it seems like a pretty cool room. What's going on in here? Yeah, was... Whoa. It's all like Egyptian. Quite the uh, quite the diversity you've got in your lair, Gruntilda. There's, there's, some, there's some strange stuff in here. Alright, so we got waiting boots in there. Not quite uh, sure I want to do that just yet. But, if we go in here, I think there is... Oh, yes, there it is. The switch. Also, a different colored enemy. Uh, as we go through Gruntilda's lair, the enemies inside of it are going to be get slightly harder and harder, but uh, there's not really that much of an issue with it, because... Uh, usually they go down in one beak bust anyway, so it's not even a problem. So now we have this spinny platform, we can actually jump off of it if we time it just right, and if we fall down here, check it out, we got that jiggy. So no problem at all with that, um, but I, what I do have a problem with is with the order of the next few worlds. Now, um, as you remember, we opened up Freeze Easy Peak in the last episode, however, as we continue forward in Gruntilda's Lair, I'll show you something else that uh, can be a bit confusing. Rather rather not confusing, just a bit misleading. Um, now if we look over... Oh hey, there's a Momo token. I'm gonna point that out. 20 Momo tokens, no big. Now if we go over here, there it looks like there's an entrance to another world over here. So technically, uh, as far as appearance of worlds go, like when you see them, that one we just took a took a glimpse at. That one technically comes first, but in order of unlocking levels, it would seem that Freeze Easy Peak is next on Freeze Easy Peak is next on our list to tackle. That's what I'm trying to say. But uh, you know, it's just a bit misleading with the whole thing where uh, you know we actually see a different level first. All right, so we activated a pot right here. So that one corresponds with the pot that is. Uh, close to the beginning of the world, created a shortcut, hop on in and see. I don't want to hop in and see just yet. How many notes does this take? 350. Yes, so we can actually go up to this door now, because we have 100% of the previous four worlds before this. Um, head on in, and if we travel, um, if we travel right a bit, a, t a, a, a titch, as some might say, there is a way to open up that level that we were just taking a glimpse at before. So the next level after Freeze Easy Peak is actually Gobi's Valley. So that's a nice desert theme. But we're not going to do Gobi's Valley. We're going to go ahead and do Freeze Easy Peak. Uh, because in the spirit of the holidays, I figure we will tackle the sort of holiday-themed level as uh, as the uh, winter season rolls around and uh, everyone's getting all excited for Christmas and, or whatever whatever holiday you might celebrate around this time of year, I figure that Freeze Easy Peak is what we should do. Um, problem with that is to do Freeze Easy Peak 100% in one run, we actually need to go into Gobi's Valley and grab something very quickly. Trying to remember if I forgot something... It feels like I forgot to do something, but I don't think I did. Alright, anyway. Yeah, so we need to go into Gobi's Valley and unlock a move before we can actually do anything. Um, there's a bunch of quicksand there. The quicksand acts pretty much the same as uh, the swamp water did in Bubble Gloop Swamp. Same dealio. Just, you know, don't stay in it for too long, otherwise you get hoit. What the hell was that? I get stuck on the stair right there. Also, behind Gobi's Valley, as with most things in this game, anything behind it, you can check it out. There's Brentilda, so if you need to keep track of the Brentilda locations, that's where, you sh that's where she is right there. I'm going to try not to get into too much stuff in this level, but as you can see, we get those running shoes right there. 
Uh, what the, why the hell not? I guess I'll collect those notes. Completely pointless, I know. We have five notes in this world now. For those of you playing on the N64, that will not count towards your note total because the next time you come into this world, it will not save the number of notes you have. But if we go behind this pyramid right here, we can talk to, um, we can talk to Bottles. And he's going to teach us the move that we need to know. But actually, I don't think we're even going to get into Freeze Easy Peak in this level because, as you remember, those are those, that's the power up that we need to, um, that, that, that we need to, uh, fight, um, not fight, do the mini game in Bubble Gloop Swamp. So we're going to do that mini game, polish off Bubble Gloop Swamp, and be completely done with that before we go ahead and do anything in Freeze Easy Peak. So I think. Um, that's what we're gonna do next. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna look at you, Jinjo. You are. You're distracting me. I will. I will tackle you when the time comes. Goodbye. All right, guys. So in the essence of time, I decided to cut the uh, journey into Mr. Vile's uh, sort of mini game place. I decided to cut that out and uh, just go ahead and uh, you know save you guys some time. Uh, some. Some. Uh, just save you guys the uh, stress of watching me do absolutely nothing, I guess. Alright, so we're going to accept his challenge this time. So what he's going to do is he's going to challenge us to eat uh, more red yumblies, and the red yumblies are going to pop out of the ground from those little holes you can see right there. Uh, this minigame, the first one is pretty easy. He's going to, uh, obviously, uh, it's not bad at all, but we can also pick up these running shoes that we just got from Gobi's Valley, and those are going to give us a huge advantage over him. Uh, trick with this minigame is that whichever way Mr. Vile is facing is the way of the nearest Yumbly, so just keep that in mind, and I just totally screwed that up. Obviously, more Yumblies will pop up, but he's going to lead you directly to them, and it's a very easy way to uh, direct yourself in the direction. You're also going to want to eat whichever one is closest to him so that you can sort of, like, screw him out of getting more Yumblies, as you can see right there. So and then you can just follow him like that and uh, sort of eat them out in front of him. That sounded really ridiculously nasty. Eat them out in front of him. Right, so, you know, with these running, f with the running shoes, we can obviously run faster than him, and that's how you can sort of steal him uh, out from under his nose. And if you eat a lot of them, I think it's 35, you get an extra life. Somehow managed to do that, not quite sure how. But anyway, now uh, he's going to tell us to not eat the yellow ones. Um, so we just need to pay attention to these red guys. Do not eat the yellow ones. They will pop out of the ground sometimes, and you will accidentally eat them. Uh, you'll be sick for a little bit, and you'll just kind of get stunned. Um, so it also decreases the rate at which the red yumblies spawn, because it basically takes up a space. And see if we can't... Wow. Just totally got screwed out of that red yumbly. Oh, just got screwed out of that one too. I'll let him have that. So that he's further away. Also, if you can eat, you know... If you can eat a bunch of them, um, and sort of like screw him out of uh, getting that large group of them, sort of like this, see how he got two, but I get three because I decided to go for the larger pack, and he always goes for the ones that are closer. Alright, he might actually win this one, because I'm getting screwed right here. Just let me get some red yumblies, please, red yumbly, red yumbly. Are we in the clear, are we in the clear? Yeah, we're in the clear. Alright, so we made it through that game. Now we just gotta play the uh, third and final one with him. Play last game. Only eat what is shown at the top of the screen. So this is well, this is by far the hardest one because he can't screw up. So now we can only eat the red yumblies, but it's going to switch back and forth between the red and yellow yumblies. Uh, it's probably gonna switch right now. So now we can eat the yellow ones. Uh, for some strange reason, and, you know, they, they weren't ripe two seconds ago, but now they are, and we can obviously eat them now, and it's going to switch, so now we can eat the red ones, so just be sure you kind of, like, camp yourself a little bit, and just uh, keep track of the uh, timing of the switching, it's going to switch right now, so he's going to get that yellow one, what a cheater, oh goodness, I'm doing very bad, I'm doing very poorly. Alright, all right, so it's going to switch, and we're going to get these red yumblies. I think I just popped up, should have gone for the... Uh, another strategy is that always go for the one that popped up the, like, the latest. Right, yellow yumblies now. Or, I'm sorry, uh, always get the one that popped up... Uh, I'm just going to switch. 
Oh, I won. Yes. Okay, so always go for the one that popped up, like, the, the oldest one, because it's going to go down the earliest. That's what I was trying to say, but I was really concentrating on that game. Alright, so we get the prize. Thank goodness. My heart is racing. I hate this game. He now has a tougher talent challenge, and I have no idea why you'd ever want to do it. And he he eats a life of yours, and I have no idea if you would why you would like ever take that challenge because now we have 100% in the world, so we're completely done with Bubble Gloop Swamp. In total, we can leave this place now and be done with it in general. So actually, I might um, once I get back into Mumbo's hut, I might do a cut. So that we're back in Gruntilda's lair outside of Freeze Easy Peak, so we can go there and um, start that world off. Um, so, yeah, once I get into Mumbo's hut, I'll make that cut. And, uh, yep, I'll meet you guys in Gruntilda's lair. Alright, guys, we're back in Gruntilda's lair outside of Freeze Easy Peak, and we're going to be continuing on our way into this level. Um, but I think I might end off this episode right here. I'm not quite sure how long it's, it took for me to do the, uh, whole, the whole thing with, uh, with Mr. Vile, but I know for a fact that I want to end off this episode and start off Freeze Easy Peak fresh and new and not with Gruntilda interrupting me, because that's really annoying and dumb. Actually, I might be really... how, much how much of this stuff can we do on the outside of Freeze Easy Peak really quickly, just as a quick time waster? Yeah, we really can't do anything, can we? I think we... Yeah... Nope, nope, we can't do anything. I know for a fact we can't do anything. Alright! So, in the next episode, we will continue on to Freeze Easy Peak and finish that level up now that we have all those other things out of the way and all the, uh, un the, uh, the, the moves that we need to complete it completely. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see y'all later.